Welcome to Strategic Command, World War I Paradox game I'm playing. Starting here on the Western Front, it's now December 16, so we are going into the winter. Still only rain though, so that, ma that means we cannot get on the wings, and therefore we will not fire any artillery either. They will just replenish their shells for better times. I think we need, yeah, this one needs to be... Oh, before I do anything, let's rearrange the headquarters. This one's fine, it has all the Austrians. This one here, let's uh, detach over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I guess is enough. This one, detach there, let me just see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, detach this and this, attach the bombers. This one will go manual. Start up here. Detach this one. Uh, there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. This one will take that one. So everybody, including the uh, the airplanes, are now uh, under headquarter command. Um, this one, since it's raining, we cannot do anything anyway. So let's put this one near the coast, like up here. this one over here and they're ready to do some scouting let's come back down here this one here is in trench level uh, zero so we might as well move him out I put somebody else in there this guy for example and just entrench in place Move somebody else forward. All right, let's see if there's anything else that needs upgrading. This one is Morale 29. I think we should move him out as well. And he's not entrenched either. Get out of there and move somebody else in. This one, we'll start the upgrading first and then replenish him next turn. Let's get the fighters up to standards. That is only 20 points, that should be fine. The bombers as well. They can upgrade naval, right? Yeah, we don't want that here. Let's get the full points, the other bomber as well. Um, also the Austrian fighters and bombers. There we go. Everything is what it's supposed to be. Um, the only ones not upgraded are the, on the front line. One here is zero, one here is one, and one here is one, one here is one. Three ones and one zero. We might consider sometime during the winter when the weather is bad. and switch them around. We could do that now actually. Yeah, let's just do it now. They will enter entrenchment level 4, and these guys level 2, and then we can upgrade them with the infantry weapons. These guys can actually upgrade where they stand, so that's easy. That leaves three units up here. They cannot immediately get somebody else in there. They have to actually move out, which is of course possible. At least I'm pretty sure it is. 
the enter entrenchment level one. And then that leaves this one here. This one can go in there. Okay, then we can upgrade the rest of them in the coming turn. Get this one closer. Okay, that uh, concludes business here on the Western Front. Let's move up here. We got the uh, tanks, which can be upgraded with mobility. So let's do that. I think everything here is then upgraded. Um, let's move let's move these guys over now that's 17 points I'll just put them somewhere nearby here and then we'll shuffle them around accordingly uh, this one there and this one We also need some space on the sea uh, areas here so that they can actually get uh, on the water. But this is basically my landing forces. Three infantry, one marine, one tank and one cavalry. Perhaps one more cavalry would be needed. Um, I guess we can send one more over and then just start upgrading that. We have one with a star. We do not. Okay, just send one over. Let's put him there. This is the landing forces. Now the naval, the navy's uh, job here is to clear a path to, I guess, Newcastle is where I want to go uh, because it has a port. Norwich and Hull does not have a sufficiently large port and London will of course be heavily defended. Um, so Newcastle is one option, Dundee Rosyth is another one. There's uh, two ports here but it's further away and it also puts me further away from London where I want to go. So I think Newcastle is uh, the place to be and uh, what we want to do is clear the path up there we want to have a heavy presence of submarines scouting out the areas and we want to have a fully capable navy standing by over here so let's start sending out the subs to see what we can find I will not go near the coastline Okay, so so far it's clear. Let's just let's just go to Newcastle proper. Yeah, we can't. But I can go next to it here. So we'll go in here, see what's in Newcastle. Seems to be nothing there. Let's come back out. Okay, there's a pretty clear area around here where there's nobody. See, there's nobody here so right now there's a clear path to Newcastle the stuff's presence here might attract or probably will attract some enemy shippings so but anyway we'll uh, just place some more subs up here and there and also down here in the channel Okay, the navy will be placed here around Helgoland. There's another sub here. Let's bring it, bring it up there. Another sub here. Let's just bring it here. This sub is going home. Assemble the navy here. Couple more subs. 
put them there okay um, this one's good to go light cruiser go out there the dreadnought is good to go battleship is good to go so let's put a dreadnought here dreadnought here put this battle cruiser there and that dreadnought here this one will replenish back to 10 let's put another light cruiser down there heavy cruiser there and that leaves the destroyers uh, which we'll keep somewhere here in the back got a lot of these let's just keep them oh naval mines <laughs> okay he's heading back there's no free ports though just heading back uh, how far can you go? Go there. So the ships currently in port will be uh, replenished, all of them. And then we just have this destroyer that bumped into one of the naval mines. The only one which is not at full strength next turn. These guys are ready to go. Of course we'll uh, just uh, we have to decide on the order these guys can go from any location they can also they are in supply when they land which is very important I think the, the way to go is to move next to Newcastle and then move in from the land that way uh, the city and the port will be almost at full strength And besides the Marines, I will send regular infantry first. And once we have cleared, I will land a headquarter, then bring in the tanks and the cavalry and extra infantry in that order. The extra headquarter is here in case I need it. If the, uh, if the place is big enough, the bridgehead, I will put two headquarters which will support each other but only if I have enough space. And let's leave the rest of the guys here for now. They are all fully upgraded and replenished. Same for these guys down here. Um, I might want to shuffle them west one by one if I have the extra points. Right now I have 420. Uh, but let's go down and see what else is going on down here. Uh, we can upgrade the Bulgarians and then send them down here. Uh, yeah, there will be a pretty good fighting force. Uh, they have the morale of the Germans. Uh, so let's start doing that. I think we'll, s we'll put this one in Larissa. We could take some of the German uh, detachments, or there is one Austrian detachment. Anyway, some detachments down here to secure Athens and Corfu, which have ports. Uh, maybe even Tirana as well. But anyway, let's upgrade these guys. Mobility for the headquarter. And I think these guys, as they're going into the desert, they should probably have mobility as well. So that's 84 points. That's a lot of points. And that kind of prompts me to, to actually use them. Now that, I, now that I invest in them. There's also the artillery up here. And another core. But I'm out of points now.
Okay. Austrian Navy. So the let's see the research. The subs can be upgraded now. So this destroyer is upgraded. This destroyer is not. Light cruiser is upgraded. These two destroyers are upgraded. Upgrade this one. And get the sub in there. And we just got one more sub which will also go in and be upgraded. As we can see, uh, naval weaponry is there soon. And then we'll have to upgrade all the rest of them. Going to the Ottomans. We are currently upgrading destroyers with naval and anti-submarine submarine. Upgrade naval. Upgrade naval. Now the question is can I upgrade here? Yes I can. I just cannot replenish the full. Upgrade naval. Um, then we still have the battle cruiser and the battleship that needs to be upgraded next turn. Uh, can these guys go in there? No. Actually, they can't. Okay. Right, let's go down here. This one can operate. Bring it down there. This one can also operate. Bring it there. Over here, I want to take out this detachment. Start with this one, three damage. This one one damage switch with that one ah come on so close maybe use the cavalry in the back there we go okay now let's close the gap here and take a Mara for the extra supply bring this cavalry around and go there. Right, so I will probably spend the turn replenishing these guys and then we'll start taking uh, this town and then we can move down and take the next. There's another call here with a uh, headquarter. Probably someone in Basra as well. Okay. And we have plenty of points still one could argue that we um, might go for some artillery I just don't think we have enough time for it to matter um, we do get infantry weapons level 2 soon and I'll upgrade everyone with that and I think that's all we will do uh, for the Austrians it's the same thing although they do have artillery too we could go for gas and shell production and in fact I think I will do that just put all all the chits in that. Also infantry weapons level 2 coming soon. Naval weaponry coming soon. Do you want to purchase anything? The usual answer is no. Well the artillery I don't know, it could be used anyway to um, reduce morale. Okay. I'm convinced. Buy one of those. What about the Austrians? 
still nothing here okay Germans are out of points so I think that's it rather short turn anyway let's go USA protest against the enforcement of the distant blockade of Germany and the convoys rough seas blockades tank development level 3 I guess or tank development level 2 goes to 82 percent anti-submarine warfare level 2 has been reached so the the destroyers need to upgrade again and armored warfare is at 99 Austria infantry weapons is ready so they will upgrade um, and anti-sub at 61 Austria develops infantry warfare level 2 as well it's actually a pretty good fighting force now um, command and control level 3 for the Turks and here comes winter and really bad weather I don't expect heavy attacks on the uh, Western Front with this weather. But you never know. Oh, I forgot to upgrade this artillery, didn't I? Looks like it's still at one. Oh, this. Uh, did they just place the mines there? I think so. So there must be a destroyer nearby. Let's just went in and place these mines. At least I see them, so it's not really that uh, horrible. I should go look for that destroyer. Usual artillery attack on Gaza. Also on Aachen. This is without spotting because of the weather and the snow. It means the airplanes are grounded. So the artillery is less effective. But that's a lot of it. take a few losses there's one more also artillery down in the Basra area firing on the cavalry It's a pretty easy target though, it's just right there. So they can just go down and hit it. Alright, French movement and attack on Metz in the snow. They actually uh, do one damage. I do have some defensive artillery at my disposal. Next attack failed. Next attack failed. Be, there'll be no attack on Mets. No taking of Mets, that is. Further north, another ground attack. Also attack in Mulhausen in the south. 
also ineffective. I don't know why they insist on attacking in this weather. It's not gonna work. Now, if the weather is good next turn, I could consider a, a counterattack because all the allied units are in disarray, in bad strength. So I could bomb them into oblivion and then send some fresh troops up forward. And then go in and take care of those artillery pieces. I will seriously consider that. The British headquarter moves into the desert for some reason. That's a long way across. No sign of the navies, except for that uh, destroyer that put the mines. That's a good thing. Maybe the AI is afraid of my navy, and it should be. But the combined Royal Navy and French Navy are still a bit stronger than mine if they combine the forces in the in a coordinated attack. The accession of Kaiser Karl increases national aspirations in Austria-Hungary. And then the blockades. William Buffalo Bill Cody does H H70. Okay. Garrison on the letter. Oh, Marines in Besançon. That's a strange place. We have the Bulgarian fighters finally ready to go. And the Austrian submarine, which we can put straight in the port. And I guess that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.